On March 4, 1849, former war hero Zachary Taylor began serving as the 12th President of the United States. But just 16 months later, he was dead. And some people believe he may have been deliberately poisoned. Let's rewind to July 4, 1850. President Taylor woke up in the White House ready to celebrate Independence Day. After reportedly eating a couple of green apples, he attended a ceremony in Washington, D.C., and then returned home to the White House, where he consumed pickles, a big bowl of cherries, and drank a glass of iced milk. Unfortunately, the food didn't sit well with him. That evening, he felt sick, and the next day, he suffered from bouts of bloody diarrhea. His doctor diagnosed him with a type of cholera and prescribed a mercury compound medication as well as opium. But President Taylor only got worse and five days later, he was dead. To this day, we don't know for sure what killed him. Some medical historians hypothesize that something he ate or drank, whether it was the apples, cherries, the water used to wash the cherries, or the unpasteurized milk, was contaminated with salmonella or the like. But some people think President Taylor may have been intentionally poisoned. A few decades ago, a professor and author named Clara Rising studied the gastrointestinal symptoms that Taylor had experienced before his death. She had a hunch that he may have been suffering from arsenic poisoning. After all, Taylor had made many political enemies thanks to his views and policies on Texas, California, and slavery, and her theory was that someone had murdered the president. So she convinced Taylor's closest living relative, as well as the coroner in Louisville, Kentucky, where Taylor's body was buried, to have the body exhumed. In 1991, the 12th president's body was exhumed, and scientists examined samples of his hair, soft tissues, and fingernails for traces of arsenic. The verdict? Taylor did not have enough arsenic in his system to suggest arsenic poisoning, and his body was reburied. Although food poisoning of some kind seems to be the likeliest explanation for Taylor's death, no other poisons were tested, and we'll probably never know exactly how he died.